Good morning, everybody. Bob here. Today's workout is called Healthy Shoulder Exercises for Seniors. And yes, we're doing gentle strength for seniors, so we're going to take this really easy. I will show you how to go into the next level if you're eager. But basically, we're going to start off with a warm up where we're standing in neutral, mountain pose, athletic stance, which means you're as tall as you can get. Your shoulders are down, back a little bit and relaxed. Feet shoulder width apart, tuck your chin in. And before we begin, if you have any shoulder issues at all, you can still follow along. But if there's any pain, back off. Don't go into the pain. It'll make things worse. So, you ready to go? Good, we're gonna just take arms together and bring them up and down and up and down and up and down a little higher up a little higher and down up and down up and down yes and this time we're going to go a little higher up keep them straight down up down up down three more times except palms up palms down palms up Palms down, and palms up, and palms down. Good work, out to the side, up to here, down, up. Yes, you're flying high because you're in great shape and you're a senior and you're as smart as you'll ever get. Palms up first, up, palms down. Anytime you turn your palm in your hand, good, in front we're gonna go up and then that way. Anytime you turn that palm, you're working your shoulder joint a little bit more. A little bit more um, shoulder is being accessed. All the way up and all the way around. Up. Just warming up the shoulder. Good. Let's go back the other way. Same arm. All the way around. Just warming up. Right the other side. So it's just up the other way up and the other way up ready to go all the way around here we go all the way around up and around gentle arm straight everything's relaxed let's go back the other way and around not too many times three or four times good all right good work all right we're going to move it right there in front of us parallel to the floor palm that way and as we push it away we push the palm pull the palm push pull notice the arm is parallel to the ground and it's straight my hips are straight ahead good let's try the other side so we're gonna push pull push pull push one more for fun. Push, pull. Good. And this time when we push, we're going to push it all the way around to the back and lift our heel on the opposite leg and turn our body and go with it. And then pull it back all the way across the center line. Push. So I keep lifting my heel. And my body goes along with the arm. One more. Good work. Straight out, so we push it away. Pull it back. Push. Back. Push. Back. The bees are out. Push. Back. Okay, here we go. Lift the heel on this side and push it all the way around. And pull it back all the way past center. And push. And pull. And push. And pull. Good work. Shake that out. Good. Let's do both at the same time, right? So we're going to go the same way. Push. And pull all the way past center. And push. And pull. And push. And pull. Hi, Twyla. Push. That's my cat. 
The cat likes to work out when I work out, especially outside. One more. Push and pull. Relax, shake that out. So um, I'm going to back up so you can see my feet. I'm still here. So as I lift my arms up over my head, I'm going to lift my heels up and come down. So I'm going to pull the air up and blow it out. So breathe it in and blow it out. And breathe it in and blow it out and breathe it in on the way up and blow it out now i'm going to take a breath and blow it out on the way up breathe in on the way down blow it out not too fast up on the feet toes balls of the feet Blow out, breathe in. One more. Blow out, breathe in. Good work, good work. Shake it out. Warm up. I want to explain a little bit of the complexities of your shoulder. Think of it as a lever. It's not a teeter-totter. It doesn't have a fulcrum or a support in the middle of this arm. No, it's attached at the shoulder. That's where the fulcrum is. That's where all the force is when the load, which is the cup of water, is at the end. And your job is to move it up and down all day long. You better have strong ligaments, tendons, and good bones and muscles in that shoulder. Your trapezius, your deltoids, all the muscles of your shoulder better be strong or you're going to have problems. We're ready to start with the exercises. Yes, we did some warm-up exercises, but those were very gentle. So these are going to be a little bit more strenuous, a little bit more force put onto your, um, your fulcrum here of your lever. Um, but we're going to use light things. And this thing here is a garden pole. I got it at Home Depot or someplace, maybe the dollar store even, and I only paid a couple of bucks for it. And notice how tall it is, it's taller than I am. And I need something that's higher than me to do these shoulders. And so if you don't have one of these, you can take the end off, the, the brush off your broom and you can use your broom. Or this is the uh, little tie that I use to tie my kimono or my robe to my body later at night. So some kind of a, a tie like this will work. So what I want to do is I want to hold it so that my arms are straight the whole time for the exercise. I don't want to bend them at the elbow. I want to keep them straight. So I'm going to hold it taut so it's nice and tight. I don't want it flopping around. Hold it like this. Broom handle, garden pole, um, some kind of a, a yoga a band or something, but this is what I can use and this works for me. I hold it here approximately at uh, belly button level and I just lift my arms up. No pain, no pain, no pain, right to the top. Good. Down. And I'm not going too fast. Up. So I'm working all of the muscles, supraspinatus muscle in my shoulder joint, my deltoids, my trap, the trapezius muscles, working those uh, tendons that are in there too, joining the bone, the humerus, to the scapula or shoulder blade, slash, there's a collarbone, the clavicle. So anytime the muscle is being connected to a bone, you're using a tendon. So there's a long tendon in your arm there, in your upper arm, going from your triceps and your biceps. I think it's a bicep, a tendon. Going from your bicep into your shoulder. And all the fascia, all the connective tissues are in there too, and they're all being worked when you do this. Good, and let's just do one more. And Hold it at the top, have a little break. 
Good. Now we're going to take it back. Keep the arm straight back. See how that feels. Just back enough to do a little bit of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Yep, right there. They come together and they go apart. Now this is especially important because all day long we're looking at our TV and our steering wheel in our car and our cell phone and we're leaning forward. We want to lean back when we exercise to counteract all that leaning forward. Good. How many? I don't know. 10, 20 of these. Take your time. And you can relax anytime you want. Anytime. But let's go back to that position. We're right over top of our head. Can we go back a little bit further? Now, if you had a shorter grip, a smaller broom, you wouldn't be able to do this. You'd have to bend your arms. So I'm going back a little further. Good. Back up to the top. I'll show, show you what it looks like from the side. Let's have a little rest. So, if you're doing a follow along here, watching me and trying to do this, remember, you can do whatever you want to do, but as soon as it hurts, you back off a little bit and start over. Up to where it doesn't hurt. That's all good, but don't go into the pain. So if you can go all the way up, arms really straight, arms really straight, arms really straight to here, that's even better. And then for you really, really pro exercise seniors, if you can come down to your low back with your straight arm and work that area, that'd be good too. Eventually you'll be able to go all the way over, belly button, all the way over, lumbar spine. Okay, so a little rest. And then when we rest, you could do the shrug, the shoulder shrug thing. So I'm standing in mountain pose, athletic stance, perfect posture, chin tucked in, and I re raise my shoulders up to my ears and count maybe three, two, one. And then push my hands into the floor or the ground. Three, two, one. And then push my shoulders back. Stand tall. Three, two, one and then bring them forward and arch my back. Round it, three, two, one. That could be your little break when you wanna have a little rest. Okay, second part to this kimono cord thing. I'm gonna just bring it out in front of me. I've warmed up pretty good. I know I can go back and I know I can go in all kinds of directions, but let's try this circle thing. And so we're trying to keep it over our head and we're gonna go around in a circle. So when I do this, I'm twisting right here at the obliques and sometimes it's dangerous to twist unless everything's warmed up in the sides of your um, body. So let's just take it and just twist a little bit. Hold the cord out in front with the straight arm. Just warm this up a little bit. Okay. And when, when you want to go back, you know, lean back, you're working your low back, and that's a dangerous thing to work when it's not warmed up. Uh, so let's just stand up here like this and lean back a little bit. Straighten up. Because we are going to go around in a circle. Yeah, so we, we can twist. And we can lean back. We don't have to do much of this because we're always doing this. But we should lean back. Maybe once more. Okay, you ready for a circle? So I'm going to go around with my straight arms. I haven't twisted yet, have I? No. Let's try going around the other way. Just a few times. Straight arms. Tight cord. All right, now here we go. We're gonna twist, go back, twist to the front. Around the world in 80 days. 
an interesting movie that I used to watch years ago. Let's just do one more of these. Go the other way. And one more. Good. Relax. Good. Shrug up. Hands into the ground. Push those shoulder blades together. Scapula. Round out the back. Rounding out your trapezius and your latissimus dorsi. Big muscles in the back and on the shoulders. Good. Okay. And the last part three to the shoulder routine today is taking it behind you, holding it in your spine area right there. Okay, got it? Now my job is to get my hands together, so I'm going to work my way twisting the cord a little bit. Yeah, that's as much as I can twist it. Maybe I can just bring my hands together. Turn apart. Hands together. Turn apart. Hands together. Turn apart. Okay, that's pretty good. Switch around the other way. So I already have it. Right in the spinal canal there. Do a little twisting, shorten up the grip. That's part of the exercise, by the way. Okay, here we go with the fingers together. Part, together. Part, and together. And apart. And relax. Shrug up. So your rotator cuff it's just a fancy way to describe your shoulder joint. It's the bone, the humerus, with the ball on the end, sliding into the cuff of the shoulder blade and the uh, collarbone. Down I go, way down. And don't forget those forward, those tendons and ligaments and fascia, complicated, complicated third grade lever and back. Good for you, good for you. Now we're going to do part two and then we're ready for a stretch and we're done. The next routine is uh, a great series of exercises for your brain. It'll help you focus and concentrate. It'll also improve your coordination because you're going to be using both sides of your head and both hands and your body, your whole body. And lastly, it's great for your shoulders and your knees. Very inexpensive. The equipment you need is maybe a lemon and maybe a nectarine or an orange or maybe even a clementine like I have. These two are about the same size. That's why they uh, were chosen and they're my favorite fruits. So the first thing you're going to do is start with one of them. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll start with a lemon. You're just going to throw it up and catch it. Not too high. And you're going to do that 10 times. And if you drop it, start over. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm just standing in one spot. There, it's 10 times. Then throw it up and catch it 10 times with the other hand. Good work. Good, and then throw it and catch it alternating 10 times. So far so good. Remember, if you drop it, start over. Good work. Now you're gonna throw it up and catch it with your uh, one hand and don't catch it here, catch it a little lower and that'll cause you uh, to bend at the knees. So a little lower here. 
Yep, you're right, 10 times. Your eye on it or else it'll fall to the ground. You have to start over. Good, and then the other side, catch it a little lower. Is that 10? Whoops, I dropped it. I have to start over on that side. Better count this time. That's five, catch it a little lower. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then alternate, one, two, three, four, five. Focus, six, seven. Don't let it get away from you, eight, nine, 10. Holy cats. Now pick up the other one. I put mine on the ground so I'm gonna use my squat get it and keep my head up right so I'm gonna throw this one up and catch it with this hand and throw it up and catch it with this hand right not too high I'm not letting go of the lemon the lemon is still in my left hand right do ten of those and then switch let's throw up the lemon Hold the orange or the clementine or the nectarine or whatever it is. Don't let go. Oh, almost dropped it. Do a couple more for that. But I didn't drop it. Good. And then the last exercise is to throw up one and then throw up the other one right away and catch and catch. So it's up, up, catch, catch. 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 Now I'm always throwing with the right hand. Let's throw the left first. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. And up, up, catch, catch. And I never dropped it. Got it? Have fun. And the last little exercise, I don't care if you put the uh, lemon in one hand and the... Uh, Clementine and the other switch around doesn't matter, but let's just start with one hand first. We'll start with the right one So we're going to take this arm with the with the uh, fruit facing heaven We're going to take it out here. We're going to reach behind our head Keep the fruit facing heaven bring it across the front of our body like this and swerve around With a little dip and then go back the way we came So it's out behind our head keeping it facing up in through there back the way you came yep 10 of these if you have anything wrong with your shoulder you won't be able to do this so you have to come out and go back and come out and go back and if you really have a problem with your shoulder you might be only doing this if that hurts you shouldn't be exercising today So it goes out, fruit facing up, behind your body, behind your other ear, facing up, and swoop in there, and back the way you came. And just do 10 of those at your speed. Two more for me. And last one. Other side the lemon here we go lemon around three more I think but make sure even if I don't do ten you do ten or more your shoulder will love you for this. So will your brain. And now we're going to do them together. So these are going out at the same time. Crossing behind like that. Coming out there. But in order to get my knees involved, I'm going to do a little bit of a squat. So I'm going to sit in the chair that isn't there. And do it like that.
it's time to stretch the shoulders. There are three stretches that I like to do that I feel like I get the most out of. The first one is one that's been around a long, long time. They always stretched the shoulders at the end of every fitness class I was ever in by taking the arm, crossing it, making sure your shoulders, first of all, are down and relaxed, and then bring the arm across your body and then grabbing here somewhere and pulling in. So I think that um, to get a little bit more out of it, we're gonna bend our arm at the elbow, bring it across in front of us so it makes like an L, backwards or frontward L, and then we're gonna put our other arm and pull between the shoulder and the elbow. This space in here where your biceps, triceps are, and we're gonna pull it in like that. So I call this the L shoulder stretch and just hold it there and remember if you can hold it for two long minutes you'll get the most out of the stretch today I'm going to do it for 20 seconds okay relax and then I'm going to bend this one bring it across in front grab here and pull it in just 20 seconds L shoulder stretch Good. The second shoulder stretch that I really like that I was taught years ago by a, a yoga teacher and you need a wall to do this so I'm sure you have a wall in your house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand here with my hands opposite my shoulders placed on the wall at shoulder height, right? And then I think I'll stretch this shoulder over here first so I can let this one drop and I'm going to turn and turn my hand so that it's pointing away from my body and put my shoulder on the wall and my hip on the wall. So remember, the arm is shoulder height and it's parallel to the floor. So my foot and my hip and my shoulder is pushed against the wall. And this free arm here, I'm gonna take it back like that. And I'm gonna hold it for two long minutes. No, I'm holding it for 20 seconds today to show you how to do it. You're holding it for two long minutes. And then, of course, relax, come back, straighten out, this side next, don't forget this side. So I turn my hand away, still at shoulder height, put my shoulder against the wall, my hip against the wall, and my leg against the wall, and put this arm back. One hundred and twenty seconds, remember that to get the most out of the stretch. But for me, so the last shoulder Just exercise, one of my favorites, you can do it sitting down or standing up. Doesn't matter. But if you're sitting down, make sure you're sitting maybe on the edge of your chair and you're sitting as if you're in your best posture ever, which means you tuck your chin in, somebody's pulling on the top of your head straight up, shoulders are down and relaxed put your hands behind your head and you push back with your elbows and your shoulder blades will come together and you go back until you can't go any further and there's no pain and I'm also pushing back with the back of my head into my hands and I'm holding it for how long you got it 120 seconds that's 120 steamboats that's two minutes if you want the most out of this. Always stretch after you do any kind of exercise program. And of course, I'm breathing in through my nose and blowing out through my mouth, trying to get that diaphragm working. I might as well, I'm just sitting here for 120 seconds, but remember, today I'm just sitting here for 20 seconds. You're gonna sit for two minutes, got that? So I relax my head against my hands. I start to bring my elbows forward and I'm done. Water. From a Buddha cup too. Well, before we sign off from our shoulder workout, there's a few things I wanna just review. 
I think I'll do this in the form of a question or questions, and you try to answer them, and hopefully you'll get the right answers. If you don't know the answers, maybe you can look them up. So first of all, your shoulder has a great big bone coming from your elbow up into the shallow little cuff. So it's the biggest bone in your upper arm. What is the name of that bone? And it's, this isn't funny, this isn't humorous. What is the name of the bone? You can do this, this is a quiz. Maybe we'll just have four more questions. And you have um, ligaments in your shoulder connecting something to something, and you have tendons in your shoulder connecting something to something. So what are tendons? In other words, what do tendons connect? So something to something else is a tendon. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Could it be a muscle to muscle? Could it be a muscle to bone? Could it be bone to bone? Hmm. Question number three. All right, question number three is, there are levers in our world, like teeter-totters and diving boards. Those are levers. And the word leverage means to get something to help you move something. And your arm is a lever, and the, uh, the fulcrum, where the force is, is at the shoulder. So if you put weight on your arm somewhere other than at your shoulder and you try to move it up, like say you, you have something in your hand and you're trying to lift it up, the force is happening at your shoulder. What grade of a lever is the shoulder with the arm? Oh, that's question number four. And question number five, Question number five is really easy. What should you always do before you do your workout, no matter what kind of a workout it is, and after you do your workout? You should start with something and you should end with something. Even if your workout is just 10 minutes long or an hour long, maybe it's a whole morning long. Start with something and end with something. What might that be? Have a good day. Keep that shoulder safe.